Here we are demonstrating the principle of the tendency towards a center. We have six eggs that are being boiled, and uh, this is Strafan Kaplan Williams uh, helping these eggs boil. I'm going to demonstrate a principle. Just see if you can figure it out by watching what is happening. This is proof of a fundamental natural law and principle of the universe. The tendency to form center when a power, when the energy source is in motion, there is a tendency uh, to have a center also. And notice that uh, what's fascinating, well, what are some laws or principles at work here? Notice the tendency of only one egg goes into center at the time. They keep a spoon moving in uh, this, cat, this clockwise motion now. And sometimes there is a uh, absence, of course, there is a uh, no egg goes into the center. But the center, uh, we don't know why, but the which egg gets the center position keeps changing, though I'm not doing anything but keeping the, the circular force motion going in the pan. So that's the tendency for there to form center, that there is a center, and why the eggs keep changing going into center, and sometimes there's even a blank. So, and we'll try it in the opposite direction. See if you notice any difference. When we go in the counterclockwise direction now, what we're demonstrating, of course, is natural laws, just like they do in physics. And, and I've also been trained in high school and college in the basics of biological and physical science. I've had the mathematics, and I've had the physics, and I've had the laboratory. So this is... Uh, the, uh, what can be called the egg principle, the tendency towards center when there is circumference motion. And notice we're not creating center ourselves, we're creating a circular motion of the movement of the eggs and the water. Notice the tendency for the eggs to change as we do this process. There is not one egg that stays in the center the whole time, which I find fascinating. Okay, just a brief demonstration of one of the great principles of laws of how this universe is constructed, which is the tendency to be unified as one whole with center. And we end up, of course, as you see, also another principle at work, the, the principle of anti-principle as well. Now we have no egg in the center, and we do not have the eggs all, sent, uh, all in equal space balanced, even though the uh, tendency was, of course, to uh, we create the circular motion again, see how that goes. So, uh, but we have the the anti principle at work always. Also, the tendency and why one egg goes out of center and another takes its place, and no one egg stays in the center. It shows it's not just the motion 
of the water created by keeping the spoon around the edge, like this. There is a transfer, a counter motion also at work, and there is also the principle of chaos, the tendency which is the opposite to the tendency or principle of order. And this time we do have an egg uh, approximately in center, and we have the eggs uh, going around. This is due to um, which principle is, di is, is dominant? This time it's the principle of order. So this is all we have time for right now.